Hey everyone! Do you ever feel like your mind is entirely clouded and unable to think clearly? Or are you experiencing negative emotions and want to clear out your mental clouds? That's all right! Cheer up! I am here to help you with an incredible stress relief technique that will benefit your mind and body. If you need to reduce your brain fog and anxiety quickly and effectively, there is no better method than tapping. It is often known as EFT, stands for Emotional Freedom Technique, and is a wonderful fusion of modern psychology and energy medicine. It is based on the idea that energy flows freely through your body. When energy becomes stuck, it appears as stress in the form of anxiety, pain, addictions, negative emotions, etc., and we've all been there. The question now is how we can bring ourselves out of this state and return to a place where we can think clearly and calmly. The answer is tapping, of course. Tapping, based on acupuncture principles, is excellent for dealing with stress and anxiety. In the same way that acupuncture targets specific meridian points, EFT taps on key energy hotspots to help you feel better. It is thought that restoring this energy balance can relieve symptoms that a bad experience or emotion may have caused. In this video, the whole process is divided into five easy steps that you have to follow. So, let's get started. First, you have to identify your issue. This step requires you to think about the problem you want to solve. You should zero in on a single problem at a time. Second, you have to examine the level of initial severity. You should rate the severity of the issue on a scale from 0 to 10, with 10 representing the most severe manifestation of the problem ever seen. This ranking system will allow you to evaluate the efficacy of the tapping once the therapy has been completed. Now the third step is for you to decide on your setup statement. Choose a single sentence to repeat to yourself when you tap the karate chop point. This spot represents the middle of the outer hand's fleshy part. Your setup statement should acknowledge the problem and show that you accept yourself even though it's there. The statement can be altered to fit your needs, but it should not solve anyone else's problem. You can't tell yourself things like, I deeply and completely accept myself even though my mother is unwell. You must focus on how the problem makes you feel to eliminate the stress it causes. For example, you could say something like, Even though I have this headache or anxiety, I deeply and completely accept and love myself. The majority of people are unable to accept this. As they put it, why would I ever say I accept something that I wish to get rid of? Unfortunately, our resistance to accepting a feeling often prevents it from passing. The setup statement prepares us for the rest of the process and reduces the impact of our common assumptions about the problem. That's why the setup statement needs to be repeated three times. In the fourth step, you must tap on specific points on the body while repeating the phrase or setting up the statement you have chosen. If you are performing the treatment, you will carry out the tapping. Now I will explain the tapping points in sequence. The top of the head, the exact middle of the top of the head, is the location of the first point. The second point is the beginning of the brow, which is located slightly above and to the side of the nose, is the second point. The next area to tap is the side of the eye situated on the bone at the outer corner of the eye. Then there is the bone that sits directly below the eye, around 2 cm below the pupil. The next point is that lies below the bridge of the nose and above the top lip is, under the nose. The chin point is located approximately halfway between the bottom of the chin and the underside of the lower lip. The collarbone, CB, begins at the intersection of the breastbone, sternum, collarbone, and first rib. The last tapping point is the underarm which is on the side of the body about 4 inches below the armpit. So, these are the eight tapping points, and this is one round. So, the first thing you do is say the setup statement. Even though I have this problem, even though I have this anxiety, even though I have this headache, I love and accept myself. Or, I'm okay with myself. Then tap the remaining acupressure points, 
while just expressing your emotions. It's not about using flowery vocabulary, instead, it's about acknowledging and releasing physical tension at specific acupressure sites. Again, sending that calming signal to the brain, telling it that you are safe and it's okay to relax even with this thought. In the fifth or the last step, you must rank the issue's intensity on a scale of 0 to 10 again. Hopefully, this will have gotten better. If not, just keep doing it over and over until the intensity drops to zero. Now that we're done with the tapping method, I'll answer some of the most common questions about tapping. Most of you are wondering if one or both hands should be used to tap. The answer is that tapping can be done with either hand when you need to tap inconspicuously, such as when you're at work or in the car, using only one hand is perfect. You might also want to know if tapping frequently is of any harm. No, that is not the case. You can tap as often as it helps without fearing any adverse effects. Some people can feel better by tapping on themselves, but getting professional help for physical pain or emotional problems is essential. Experts recommend trying new things before seeking treatment for brain fog and anxiety which can be brought on by anything from not getting enough sleep to having a particularly stressful week at the office. To give your brain a much-needed tune-up, I will also suggest you make some lifestyle changes, such as changing your food, improving your sleep routine, getting a good workout, and playing some brain games. We know that exercise increases blood and oxygen flow throughout the body, so it makes evident that a lack of exercise would have detrimental effects on the brain. Workouts boost brain abilities because they improve blood flow and oxygen to the brain, as Dow puts it. The good news is that you can get moving without necessarily resorting to extreme measures like riding an exercise bike or doing burpees. If you want to reset your brain, it takes an hour of low-impact exercise like walking or yoga every day. If you make the following adjustments to your lifestyle and your brain fog remains, you should consult your doctor to rule out any underlying medical causes. Tapping can be done in a few different ways, as you'll learn if you research the topic online or in a book. For instance, Gary Craig, the creator of Tapping Begins by Tapping the Top of the Head, although most EFT practitioners now end at this point. Different terminology is used in the setup statement at times. Don't sweat the small stuff, there is no difference in effectiveness between the various approaches. Tapping is an effortless and forgiving technique to reduce anxiety and brain fog. You must give it a shot. Tapping will help you eliminate negative emotions, bring good things into your life and help you be your best self all with the power of your fingertips. Good luck with keeping your mind healthy. We will see you all in the next video. So, until then, goodbye.